Hello! In this episode, we're going to be implementing an 8x8 uh, belt balancer. Now, first thing we have to do is go get some, go get some uh, belts. We are at zero. Is drain nearby? Negative. Hurry up, drain. Probably quicker to just wait for this train to come and try to run all the way down. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> the train was at the other station. Inserter capacity bonus three is finished. There goes the train. Yeah, everything pauses when you go to the tech tree, so it's not like I can save time that way. Personal battery mark two. Ooh. Okay. And the better fuel you put in to your trains, the better acceleration that you will get. Uh, I believe nuclear fuel gives you the best acceleration. This means you will get... You will get, um, you know, higher average speeds, of course. So we needed belts, and then... I also need to pick up power poles. We're down to eight. And then we'll spend some time. I, I, in between episodes, I went and drew out on pen and paper how I intended for the uh, eight by eight balancer to to come into being. Um, you know, went through it, oh, decided, okay, I'm going to make a couple more improvements, went through it a little bit more again, then I went into uh, another Factorio game and laid it all out just to see, and it, it was implemented how I had drawn it on paper, and I'll, I'll talk you through it as I'm creating it, and once I'm done creating it, uh, I will make a blueprint out of it. It is not optimized. It probably could be a little bit smaller, but it gets the job done. Um, and it does... What am I looking for? I'm looking for power poles. Over here. Um, so it does get the job done. And it does properly balance stuff. So, you know, it, it meets the requirements. Could it be better? Yes, of course. I'm sure if you look online, you'll find the most efficient way possible, but part of the fun is doing it yourself. And so, we are getting attacked in the ore. Okay. So, uh, don't destroy everything before I get up there. How are we doing on plate? Plenty. Plenty. I got a jammed inventory, but we'll deal with that later. We're getting attacked. train just left. Crap. Alright, I guess more stuff is going to get destroyed before we get up there. Hopefully it's not too much. I mean, you probably need to put turrets up there. Miners are a big pollution maker. And the furnace is will be too, even even if they are electric and a quarter of what they used to be, there's gonna be a bunch of them up there, so yes, yes, yes. Looks like five problems right now with biters. Where are you guys at? What you eating? And a spitter. Oh, there's like a medium spitter. Okay, you guys destroyed a few belt lines.
Try to miner. Okay, don't know why he went after that one, not the ones on the edge. Just look like they are injured. A few belts got injured here. Miner there. I'm not seeing any other health bars or pink bars saying that it was destroyed. Okay, overall not too bad. Do I have... I've got red ammo on me that I can give to him. And I've got 11 turrets. I guess for now we'll just throw up some turrets and give him some red ammo. Have to call it good for now. I'm not really equipped for uh, defensive structures right now. Quick for train build out. Thirty rounds, uh, thirty rounds a piece. Huh? Oh. Approximately forty-five cents. Fine. You can have half of that, half of that. There you go. You're in the middle, you'll be protected by the other ones. Close enough. Okay, uh, personal battery done. Let's go with that's purple. Personal robo port. Sounds great. So the robots can charge on me, and they can be stored within me. Okay. Let's go get this balancer done. Okay. So I decided to make it an eight by eight. It just makes every. It made the math a lot easier. So I just need to place a, a dummy belt down. Other than that, it'll all be good. I'm opening up my reference picture so I can take a look at that. Okay, let's get rid of these. So these eight are coming in and all down. To simplify things, I made the choice when I was setting this up that all mergers and splitters will be done vertically from top to bottom. There won't be any you know, right to left or left to right. I could poss possibly see one spot where it might make an improvement but it might not you know I have to look it, it, into it further if I were to turn around some of these things uh, personal robot port done we'll go with trash slots that'll set stuff up for uh, auto removal from my inventory and storage and other chests so I don't run into this problem where I have uh, a full inventory. Okay, so we start off with splitters combining. I, I numbered them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one uh, left to right. So here the output is going to be a combo of one and two, combo of three and four, combo of five and six, combo of seven and eight. So the goal is to get an eighth of each belt onto each belt. These research are going fast. They're not really too demanding of stuff. So yeah, each of the output belts needs to have an eighth of column one, eighth of column two, and so forth. So that they're equally distributed. First step, bring the neighbors next to each other. Next step, shift it over by one. There you go. That means that what's coming out of here is going to be a, a, a combination of what's coming out of here and here. So the second and third ones. 
So what's coming out of and, and what's coming out of there is one and two. What's coming out of here is three and four. So these two are going to have a quarter each of one, two, three, and four. Now you notice that I dropped off one and eight in this because I'm going to send I'm going to send eight over to the the one side and more tech done. Um, military three, I guess. Go for it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to send this one. And I looked into it, and reds can skip at, at most six uh, columns. So I can make it all the way over there. In order to do the join, I need to move column one. Uh, let me bring over some power so we can see at night. Now we can see better. Uh, so I need to swing uh, this first column out, and it needs to go down. I'm looking over my diagram as to how I did it. So these two are now pointing down and can be joined together. So everything else got shifted over, so this one that got shifted off has to come over here. So there we are. Now every single initial column has gone through two mergers and they all need to get through three because two to the third power is eight and each splitter can take two so that's why you have to use use twos and that's why uh, powers of twos will always be easier balancers to make than any other number any other number you gotta worry about ones not being entirely even and everything. That was a flash of the train going by. I was wondering what that was. Okay. So now, each of these has a quarter of them, uh, of the, of the, I'm sorry, a quarter each of four different belts. These have uh, columns one, two, seven, and eight combined together. After this, military three is done. Excellent. Robot speed, cool. And then, um, let's see. So yeah, this one has a combo of one, two, three, and four. Same with this one, of course. Same splitter. This I'm look, and four is going to have a combo of three, four, five, and six. Because these two combined initially, and then 5 and 6, so they got combined there. Well, 3, 4, 5, and 6 doesn't include 1, 2, 7, and 8, which are over here. So, columns 4 and 5, which are here and here, need to be matched up with these two in the final round. So that, we, you know, a quarter each combined of 4 completely separate ones combined with a quarter each of four completely separate column, initial columns will make an eighth of each of each initial column. And then these here in columns two and three, they're one, two, three, and four. They need to match up with columns six and seven here, which will have a combo of five, six, seven, eight. So these two need to match up with those two. These two need to match up with those two for the last. But this requires some shifting of even more stuff um, due to they're not next to each other. They Somebody has to go underneath another. Somebody has to go over another and that kind of stuff. So I'll, I won't go through entirely how I came up with it, but... I need uh, this one to come across all four of them. This one needs to join up with it. Uh, 
And I'm not going to split this episode up into another one because I want to get this all accomplished and, and built just so it's easier and everybody who's, who's thinking about how to how to put these together and just one continuous video in this one so as long as it as long as it takes to do stuff okay we got that done personal laser defense absolutely it's our it's our lasers that are put into your armor and as it says automatically fire at nearby enemies that way I can focus on other things while they're being shot at. So there's that. So that'll get two, and those are immediately going to go to the output. One, two, three, needs to skip three after it's built. One, two, three, and then come back up. And that's going to be the final output right there. That's as deep as this thing goes. And the same thing for here for this one as I'm looking over my reference thing. It's gonna pop up here and be done. So it's got an eighth of all eight different initial lines. And that one being the dummy one does count as one of the initial lines. Okay, so that is good. Now there are gonna be series because these four need to go underground, otherwise they're going to run into that belt. I just haven't put them in. There's a series of four of these. This one, I'm looking at where it matches up with, matches up with right here. Coming down, and it's going to hit the last splitter here because it's only hit two. There, there. Yeah, that's correct. We're, it doesn't hit that one. Remember, it goes underground here, pops back up here. So this belt here has only hit two of the of the splitter mergers. And the last one's going to be here. This is not the way I created the thing, but it's the easiest way to construct the thing is just follow it down like this. So this one is going to go popping back up over here, going to get turned that way. So I hope I've explained the, the principles of, of how I came to this solution uh, for the, the first part. And the second part is kind of like, um, you know, here's where everything had to move in order to accommodate everything else and becomes a more of a, uh, a jungle of stuff. This one has to go underneath to allow everything else to come through. We're going to move... I'm out of range. Uh, move the belt down. It's going to encounter a splitter here. Then we're going to curl that to that, to that, there and there. And that one is done. This one is the very outside one. Down one, over. Just creating more light so we can see again. Better. Uh, to the right one, and then down two. That's six of them done. Kinda, because this one isn't really matched up. This one. I'm seeing an improvement I can do right now from the image. Here, to here, to here. Before I had it up here. But might as well make it a little bit more compact. So then, oops. My finger twitched. It doesn't look like I put anything down. So okay. This uh, here, column four, just needs to go up, uh, or down and back up here. And here's going to have to d just do some snaking of the, the belts. Oops. Back down. This is going to join with that one. I'm going to go not left, going to go right. And down, and we have another splitter. 
Okay. Then these two need to make it over here. Doesn't really matter how you do it. That's the only thing left except for this. Um, column three needs to make it into this input of the splitter. So pop it up here and put two belts there and there. Just shift it over. Now this, see it's hard to do that shift from here to there because only, you know, that's about there. So you just take this one, go underneath, and come on out. This one, you're going to do a lot of snaking. There we go. And that looks like the reference picture, other than that one improvement I just made. This underground really isn't needed, is it? There's another improvement. Oops. Did not mean to tear, tear out the light there. Yeah, why waste the underground when you can just take it in? Don't know why. I'd... How much ore am I carrying? Mm, none. Don't really want the ore. But I will gladly make a chest just to dump stuff off. Okay, so we have eight outputs, all balanced. If you want to check them all, you'll find that they all have all eight of the original eight inputs as one eighth of the total. Uh, you see that it is slightly shifted. It it doesn't end up where it starts, so it is shifted by one, and that's fine. I'm sure there's something you can find online where the eight come at the same spot as they. Uh, come out of the same pod as they are entered into, but yeah, it works. Um, so now, doesn't matter if one line's lagging behind, it should come out as equal and ready to head out into eight different furnace lines. If you want to use eight, I guess. I guess you could use two in the same or something. So, I hope you got something out of this uh, long-winded explanation of how I put together this 8x8 balancer. Um, so. so on that note, I will uh, see you in the next episode. So thank you for being here, as always. I always appreciate it. Have a great day.